We are flying through the Pym Tech team once again, ladies and gentlemen, looking for the final piece of this Pym Tech team. Yes, Yellow Jacket has arrived, and I got my buddy here, Little A. We are going to open some orbs for Yellow Jacket. We're going to take him into battle. T4 recommendations, all to help you determine, is he worth it? Yes, all of that and more coming up, guys. And if you're ready for that, find that like button. And Little A, what should they do? Yeah! Alley flying. Oh yeah, what is up ladies and gentlemen? I am Valley Flying. This is Little A. We are on the Valley Flying channel and yes, we're going to have some fun with Yellow Jacket this morning, opening some sharp sting orbs. We're going to rank them up. We're going to give you some T4 recommendations. Take him into battle with a full Pym Tech team. But before all of that, guys, little word from our sponsor. Hey, I want to give a shout out to the folks over to Star Trek Fleet Command for sponsoring this video. It is a free-to-play strategic MMO where you get to explore the Star Trek universe. That's right. Join with millions of players where you can explore strange new worlds, seek out new life, and boldly go where no one has gone before. Create your own story. And if you're ready for all of that, download Star Trek Fleet Command today on iOS or Android with the link in the description so that you too can experience the Star Trek universe for yourself. Yeah, so shout out to the sponsor of this video, Star Trek Fleet Command. But now it is time to open some orbs. So without further ado, boom, here we are in the orb chamber. And this is what you're here for, little A. Opening some orbs, some sharp sting orbs. We got eight of them. We got to offer once. So let's go in and I'm going to have you do this. You open it when you feel it's right. And uh, yes, let's, let's get some sharp sting orbs. And then we're going to go and get some red stars for this character. All right, there it is. Got eight of these. How are we going to do there it is. Yes, click it. Click it. Go. Oh, it's green. It's a bare minimum six. All right. At least we got him. We well, we well, we bought him. We have to get him right. Let's get some more. Hopefully, we get a little more luck here because uh, green is not good. Oh, it's green again. Oh, it's another blue one. Oh, so ugly, so ugly. And this time, oh, it's green again. Maybe open him slower. I don't know. This is this is not looking good for our luck here. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. And... Oh, you're waiting? You're waiting? Am I going to open ten. one? Oh, you got a 10. Nice. Okay. Okay. A little better. All right. Again. What is he going to do? What are we going to get? What are we going to get? We need to hold it. Got to hold it? All right. What, that's the hold theory. All right. Oh, it's another six. The hold theory doesn't work. Try again. My first one did work. It did work? All right. Well, I guess, I guess it was lucky because the second one didn't work. We need some, uh, oh, it's a 12, a little better, a little better. I think we're going to at least get the unlock. Oh, it's it's green again. Still still don't want to use the nose through, guys. I'm not, I'm not, oh, and it's a 10. All right, so how much do we get total? 24 bucks. Got a 62 orb, so it did get us the unlock. Wasn't anything crazy, but we're gonna at least going to be able to unlock Yellow Jacket, take him into battle, see how he performs in this Pym Tech team, but... Before we do all that, we need to open some red stars for this character. We're going to recruit him just a little bit. We got we need some red stars for this character. So, uh, let's get this down. Let's open. Let's go to 40. Let's go to 40. Let's go to the first eight, and then we'll go into and see if we can get some uh, more of these four stars here. So, all right. We got eight of these. I want you to open eight. Unless we get a four star. We're looking for a four star because the rest of our Pym Tech team has four stars. So, Little A, would you please do the honors and get us some good lucky red stars in this character? All right, and that was the first one. Oh, it's green again. It is Miles Morales. We already have we, these. These we're going to open quickly. We got eight of these. So, all right. And these these aren't as special. Most of these are going to be crap for not the character we're looking at. That is Cable. We don't need Cable. Again, oh, you're just you're just clicking him super fast now. All right. Uh, Ironheart, nope. Does not matter. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes. All right. Again, are we gonna get? Are we gonna get at least so we can open two four stars? We have a few five stars saved up. I'm not sure if Yellow Jacket is a character I want to use five star. Uh, some of these five star orbs on, but uh, let's go again. We got three more in this stack here. Oh, Kingpin. This is a very bad seed. If you believe in that stuff, I, I'm not sure if I do or not. But all right, this is Captain America. Not looking very lucky here, guys. 
All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to go into that four-star chamber and start to uh, build up. Uh, we're going to start to uh, open some four stars. Actually, let me let me do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna recruit Yellow Jacket. We're gonna spend a ton of gold because I don't know if that has anything to do with uh, getting better pulls or not. But uh, we're gonna get train them. We're gonna build them up as far as we can. We got a bunch of uh, training orbs as well. So all right, we got him to level 60. Spent a bunch of gold. Now what we're gonna do? And see, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this has nothing to do with it. Maybe it's just superstition. But uh, I, I like superstitious stuff. Uh, we are almost at that four star. All right. The honors, my friend, little buddy, little A. Open this one, and hopefully we get good luck. Now that we've spent all this gold, what what are we gonna get here? It is a four star cable. So ugly. All right, let's let's open a five. This is this is not very good luck. All right, one of these. These are very valuable. You get to open one of these. A five star, five red star orb, four yellow jacket, one. And what are we gonna get? It is a five star crystal. We already have her. Oh, so ugly, guys. All right, we we are. Uh, it's not looking good here. Let's open some of these regular ones and uh, hopefully get a little better. We still. They're not our friends today. All right. Maybe, maybe it's because little G is not here. That's that's why. All right. Because usually when one of you guys are lucky, the other one uh, is unlucky and vice versa. So, oh, and now it is Doctor Strange. Got a little ahead of the luck curve there. So, uh, got the four star. But we didn't have that one. And it is uh, Okoye. We don't need her. Let's keep going. We're, we're getting a little better pulls, though. Got some stars, a four and a three. And now it is, oh, now we're back to these ugly ones here. Oh, we got a little luck there. Still no yellow jacket, not even once. Not even for this extended 15% chance of this yellow jacket. Not getting yellow jacket once, you guys. Oh, ugly, ugly, ugly. It is a, is a Mbaku. We're getting Wakanans here. I don't know if we can afford to open all of these. Let's go one more. Oh, still no yellow jacket. All right, let's go into, we got, we got a four star now. Let's go into the four star and see if we get uh, something lucky here. All right. One. That's all we got. That's all we can do. One. Come on. We need a yellow jacket. We need a yellow jacket. It is. There it is. Oh, five star yellow jacket. Now we have to open a four star orb for it, but we did get five star. We're eventually going to get him to five star, but let's let's go build them up. We're going to take him back into battle and do some testing. We will be right back. All right, guys, I built up yellow jacket, but as I was building him up, seeing all those empty red stars, I thought, you know what? What the heck? Let's get a better test of this full Pimtech team in action. Let's get that next yellow star on him, the next gold star on him. So uh, we bought the offer one more time, and here we are. Little A, would you please do the honors? And I am crossing my fingers for you. Hopefully, you get a little better luck with this pull than the last pull. Hopefully, they treat us a little better with this. All right, we got the minimum again. So it's not starting off good, guys. But uh, let's keep going, and hopefully, we get a little better luck. Oh, Oh, another minimum. Maybe, maybe it's too fast. Maybe it's not liking the speed at which you're ordering. Or oh, oh, and it's a 12. That is that is matching the best total that we got from the first orb opening. All right, keep going. Let's see what we get with this one. We got five more to open. Hopefully, it gets better from here. Hopefully, we get purple. Hopefully, we get a gold. All right, there's the bare minimum once again. Oh, painful, guys. Oh, and here is a 10. All right, so we got a 12. We got a 10. Can we get an 80? Can we get something even better? Oh, it's another green. No, it is the bare minimum. The bare minimum. What is we gonna? We got two more. Two more. Uh, what are we gonna get here? Oh, it's 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 not the bare rated 20. 20. That's that's one of the better blue ones. Is that the, is that the best blue one we could get? All right, one more. One more. I, I think we got the three star. Can we get a big big lucky gold one that we can get? Oh no, but it's a 10. It's a blue. All right, so. Let's collect that and let's see what the totals was. This one, this one is slightly better, slightly better. I think the other one was like 60 something. This one's 70 something. So now, now let's go uh, back and see our yellow jacket here. Boom. And there he is. There's all the Pim Tech characters. And here he is. And now it is time for some T4 recommendations. Got him with a 33K. So you can see we got the uh, third gold star on him. Still waiting to fill those uh, red stars. But let's go take a look at his T4s for some recommendations. And let me actually move my camera up here so that we can see uh, what these are. All right, so this one, 70% damage to all attacks. And what this is, it is a, a primer attacking the primary target, bonus attacking, 
And uh, I don't think this is worth it. I think maybe if you get that fifth, sixth, or seventh go uh, red star in this character and you're fully building him up, then yes. But initially, I don't think this is one that uh, the team needs that you really get that full test. Next is this one. Spiteful Sting, what the T4 is doing, stealing 10% health from the primary target and receiving a flat 2,000 extra health seems very, very measly. Uh, but this 10% extra health that you're stealing from the primary target, but it's only redistributing to himself, not redistributing to the rest of the Pym Tech team. And he has some other bonuses as well, but the T4 does not help with that. So this one, possibly, if, if, you're, if your Yellow Jacket is not getting enough evades, if he's not surviving, then maybe getting that extra health stealing would be worth it. But uh, I don't think it's needed, for, at least for this test for this Pym Tech team. Let's move on to this next one. Hostile Takeover, 70% extra damage to all targets. And what is he doing? It is a attacking the primary target and adjacent targets. And it gets even better if he gets a kill, because on kill... He's applying uh, two random positive effects to himself, Pimtech uh, allies, Villain Tech allies, and then he's going to repeat the attack again for the most injured ally and uh, or for the most injured enemy, excuse me. So uh, this one may be worth it. I'm going to skip on this one right now. But uh, again, if you get a lot of red stars, a lot of gold stars on his character and fully building up this character, then yes, I think that would be worth it. And let's go take a look at his passive. He gets some extra drain only while this character has offense up, though. So again... If, he, if, you're, if you're having trouble with the survivability of this character, then this is one that you may want to do. I'm not going to, I don't think it's necessary in the initial test, especially for this full Pym Tech team, but that is it for the recommendations. Let's, oh, and Raider is what I use for him initially. I'm going to test with this Raider. So this is what the Pym Tech team looks like, guys. Let me move my camera once again so you can see that team. Uh, this is where they're at. Very low levels here. May uh, actually, let's actually put a few more levels into him. Boom. Where can we go? We'll go to 60. We'll go to 66 here. We'll go crazy with this team. Boom. Now, now he is up to 34K. All right. So level 66, three gold, uh, effectively three red because we don't have these other gold uh, filled out. 6664 tier 10. So this is where we're going to uh, use the test in Blitz 8.3, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So here we are in the Blitz chamber, testing him without against our standard 8.3 test of the defenders. Now, if we look at the power levels here, Yellow Jacket is the weak one. Cassie's kind of weak. Ghost is kind of weak. And we look at the weakness of this team. It looks like Jessica Jones and Daredevil are the weak ones with uh, Luke Cage being the second weakness. The two that we don't want to be the strongest right here there uh punisher and iron fist they are the strongest so this could be a very bad test but let's go into battle and see how these guys do all right here they are entering battle against the defenders now uh normally i would try to take out punisher and iron fist first but because they're the two strongest members of this team that could go very badly all right already using up the evades where we I guess we should try to take out Punisher because we do have a couple villains on our team and that could be very, very bad if we get that. So uh, we're going to apply the two random negative effects, excluding Taunt. And uh, yes, hopefully we get an offense down. We do get one offense down and a defense down, which is lucky. That is fortunate. Uh, let's see. Should we avoid the big AOE attack from Punisher? I think we need to. Actually, no. Let's go with the defense downs. Let's avoid those from Luke Cage. Hopefully, hopefully that is the right decision. All right, and here is a move from yellow jacket do we do the alt gaining max attacking primary target adjacent targets for a lot of damage not going to be too crazy with the damage or do we do this when stealing i think we're going to do this one let's go primary and adjacent targets i don't know if we're going to get a kill to see this a second time but oh he's going to steal some health oh he's hitting him he's hitting the adjacent targets and just not enough damage at this three low three star level especially against a strong punisher like we are facing all right hits cassie Jessica hits Cassie and do we do stuns or ability blocks? I think we do ability block here just to avoid the big AOE attack and give us a little longer to work on that Punisher with the defense down. Oh my goodness, Cassie is uh, not looking good here. She is very low on health. Let's steal some health, bring it back to Yellow Jacket. Oh, and not yet. My goodness, that Punisher is very strong. Oh, and not even, oh my goodness, how many kills is it going to take? Uh, do we do this right now? It is, a, it is a big AUA attack. Lots of counters on the field. Not really a lot of uh, debuffs to extend. So I'm just going to use this basic. And hopefully that finally finishes off Punisher. There we go. Finally. 
All right, we're going to get a lot of counterattacks to Wasp. But if there's anybody taking the counterattacks, uh, either Ant-Man and Wasp, just based on the power level of this team. So let's go with that AOE attack, eating up some of the counters there, hopefully, and uh, does not. There is the uh, dodge from Iron Fist. I love when that big Iron Fist moved, that big wind up, and then, uh, oh, nothing. All right, so here we go. We got the counterattacks again. We're going to go slow, everybody. Jessica Jones just did the ability clear, so now would be a perfect time for Ghost to go while everybody is slowed. All right, uh, evaded enough attacks. All right, let's see if we can get you, uh, what is his name? Iron Fist there with the big Cassie attack. Not that big, not on our team anyway. All right, and now it's time for the basic. Let's throw this into 1x speed just so we can see more animations. I think I forgot it on the special. Oh, that should be the big damaging move, but just at these star levels, not doing enough damage. Oh, getting, getting, getting an assist from uh, Ant-Man though. All right. So now, now we can extend these slows, make everybody slow for a little bit longer. And hopefully we can finish off this Iron Fist here. All right, nice synergy with this team. They, oh, I, I like all these bonus attacks that they're giving each other. All right, it looks like we can finally finish off Iron Fist. And yes, we get the kill. We get the kill. There we go. Uh, Luke Cage finally gets the defense up off. And can we take out Jessica Jones here, even with the defense up? She's one of the weaker members of the team that Jessica Jones and the Iron Fist. Let's see the basic again in action. 1x speed. Oh, and does this finish her off? Do we see the kill animations? Not from her. And oh, there it is. Now that is a kill animation. All right. Couple more hits here. And it's looking like this Pym Tech team is surviving. Nice synergy. Lots of evades going all around. Do we stun Luke Cage for this? Uh, do we stun him so that he can't taunt? Let's try it. And a stun does not stick. No, it does not stick. All right. I guess we'll work on we'll work on Daredevil here. Kicking him. Kicking him with a big move. Big, big uh basic. Oh, and let's see the let's see this again. We we should get a kill this time here. Let's see if it does it one more time. Boom. There is Daredevil. Do we get the kill? Does he have enough strength? Yes. And that means he's gonna do it one more time. Big, big attack on Luke Cage. Luke Cage does have the death proof, but it's just a matter of time. Let's bring us back up to 3x speed while we finish up this battle. Ghost, let's apply some negative effects to him. And there it is. There it is in battle. They did pretty well against the defenders. Big punch up on 8.3 in Blitz without all of their def dark dimension bonuses, ladies and gentlemen. All right, there he was in battle. You saw how he performed. You saw how he performed with his full Pym Tech team. You saw the aura ball bunny, the T4 recommendations, but now it is time for the most important part, guys. Answer the question, is he worth it? And uh, for this one, I'm gonna go to little A. Is he worth it? Yes. Yes, all right, there you have it, guys. I will see you next time. Actually, uh, yes, I, I do think he's a very big asset to this team. Now, uh, if you're looking to build your Pym Tech team, I think this is this is the final piece of it. A lot of the skills based on having a full Pym Tech team, especially in Dark Dimension. Now, if you're an earlier player, uh, maybe at this some point, this team will be farmable, and it may be worth it for earlier players to enter, enter Dark Dimension 1, 2, 3. Uh, but building a full team for that global nodes of Dark Dimension 4, I am not sure. And even some of the rumors about this team becoming a legendary unlock are starting to die down. So uh, even some questions around that. So uh, if you're building Pym Tech team, then yes, you want the final piece. If you're not, I think this is a character that you can skip on, at least for now. Uh, maybe has some synergy with some villain tech characters like Ultron. If you're plan planning to pair him with them uh, down the road, then yes. But uh, that is my recommendations, guys. Pym Tech team, yes, he is worth it. If not, then this is probably a character that you could skip on unless you still believe the rumors about a legendary unlock. All right, and guys, if you want to get a yellow jacket of your own, there's still a promotion going on from Mikey B at Worldwide Nutrition. If you use the link in the description to get to that site, you can check out a lot of their great sports product and the upcoming Blitz product. Yes, the gamer drink. If you use the code PYM25 P -Y -M at checkout, you will get an instant rebate of $25 if you spend at least $50. Yes, so you can use that rebate to get a yellow jacket of your own to see if he is worth it for you on your roster. And if you have not already got a canister of Blitz from a previous offer, Mikey B is going to throw that in as well at $25 value. So basically, if you spend $50 on the Worldwide Nutrition site, uh, you're going to get 50, 25 in rebates and 25 in products. So basically $50 back. So spend 50, get 50, use the code PIM25, and I will see you guys next time. Tomorrow is going to be a video from the guys at uh, msf.gg. 
about uh, Warbot, some of the hidden features, guys. It was supposed to be today, but uh, I did not know that we we're getting Yellow Jacket. So I, hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow. Yes, Sunday video, guys. Give me a Hulk fist bump before you go. Make sure you check me out every weekday morning on Twitch. You can put, you can put that fist up there a little. Hey, there we go. Hulk fist bump, Valley flying, out.